Most of America is familiar with hot topics that often come about during discussions and debates in the political marketplace. We just bypassed our way through over eight months ago an election that should have happened a little bit more than a year ago, I believe, but that's just me thinking about the timelines of what's supposed to happen for us as a country nationally. What I can say is that hot topics often cycle through our newscasts when things go awry for those hot topics. For example, when there was a shooting down in Georgia, we had a lot of hot topics coming up again. When people go through abuses, we have hot topics making the news again. What I can tell you that we have a religious right group and a sexually uh, inappropriate left group that often abuse people for the name of their version of their version of life or their version of God. What I am talking about today is the abuse of clothing, the abuse of manufacturers' rights to productively and actively have the appropriate sizing tag on clothing. We also know from all of us going out into shopping environments that sometimes clothing from a foreign country are not the same sizing as the things that we need in America, meaning there does not at this present time seem to be a United Nations or World Trade Organization's prompted international sizing chart. The fact of the matter is that we have big and tall all over the world, but they are called different things in different languages. They also use different measurements. In Japan, we use centimeters, but here in America, we use inches. The trail on the reality is that a lot of companies are changing the actual value of sizing. We also have a real problem, as I cycle back to the introduction, of religious right people trying to force other people to wear certain clothing that is not a part of that individual soul's code. I can also proclaim that there are immoral police officers and law enforcement people that think they have rights to the privacy of someone's genitalia or the privacy of their medical records. It is immoral for them to do that and it is illegal in truth because they are not medical practitioners they are not specialists in any conditions, and they do not have the right to investigate some person in a jail's privacy of nature of their body as they have. I feel that we have rights violations going on in that situation, not only from personal experience of sexual assault and abuse that can have to go undocumented so it would really stop and not get worse for me, but at the same time I feel we have a lot of people in the community that are suffering from perversity. What I mean is that you might have a gentleman who has something called um, gynomastia, and if he has gynomastia, it means that his, his pecs, his chest muscles, are a little bit uh, fatty, and they don't particularly have the ability underneath the typical guise of physical exercise to flatten out and become more masculine-like. And we certainly have a lot of men in the community that some ill-willed women white, black, and otherwise will say, hey, he needs a bra, and that's not true. But we definitely have abusers in the religious realm that like to bash and crash the GLBT community in trying to tell men and women of all shapes and sizes what they can and can't wear in our society. But the illness of men and women who are incredibly immoral and highly illegal is the absolute abuse of a manufacturer's right to sell a garment to a customer who has either tried it on or not and measured themselves to see whether it would fit or not and then they take that clothing and they resize it while the person is sleeping. They abuse their rights in terms of the first thing violation they made is they've committed a illegal act. They've entered someone's property bags or entered someone's home and dresser drawers and ruined the clothing, violating manufacturer's law and their right to produce a sizing that a person can under consumer rights buy at the appropriate size for their life, not for someone else's life. 